Welcome back to Cosmic Weekly on Beyond the Cosmos. The top space news this week includes a SpaceX launch, an important discovery of ancient water on Mars, powerful solar storm meaning you could see the Northern Lights as far south as London, and this week's breaking space news story from the James Webb Space Telescope that could completely rewrite our understanding of the universe. But first, let's talk about the International Space Station. On Saturday night, the replacement Russian Soyuz spacecraft MS-23 docked with the International Space Station. The Soyuz MS-23, which launched on Thursday, will serve as the new ride home for cosmonauts Sergei Prokopyev and Dmitry Patelin, and also NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, whose original ride, the Soyuz MS-22, sprung a leak in mid-December and lost all of its coolant. The crew is expected to spend a year in space, double their original time, to allow for yet another Soyuz with three people on board to serve as a relief crew. NASA is also planning on a launch of its own, with a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft expected to lift off on Friday with four people on board. Speaking of SpaceX, SpaceX's Crew-6 mission for NASA has been rescheduled to launch on March 3rd due to a ground system issue that caused a scrub in the countdown. The mission was originally scheduled to launch on February 27th, but has been delayed twice due to unfavorable weather conditions and a technical issue. The Crew-6 mission will carry four astronauts to the International Space Station, including NASA astronauts Stephen Bowen and Woody Hober, cosmonaut Andrei Fedaev, and Sultan al Nayadi from the United Arab Emirates, who will become the first person from the UAE to spend a six-month crew rotation on the ISS. SpaceX have said they're also in good shape for their first ever orbital test of Starship in March, following the successful static fire test of 31 of its 33 engines. The main issue standing in the way is they still don't have a license from the FAA, but we will be sure to keep you updated as and when we have more information about when this test could be. Make sure you take a second now to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever we Post. The biggest story this week is news that could entirely rewrite our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered distant, enormous galaxies that could challenge existing cosmology theories. These galaxies could be as massive as the Milky Way and are full of mature red stars. Cosmologists think they existed about 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which is interesting because newer stars tend to burn blue rather than red. These observations are in conflict with existing ideas of how the universe looked and evolved in its early years, and do not match earlier observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope. Discovery has left astronomers puzzled and questioning how these galaxies came together so quickly after the Big Bang. The findings could point towards entirely new concepts in astrophysics, including how stars formed in the early universe, and may require rewriting cosmology theories. The images were obtained by Webb's near-infrared camera as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program. Astronomers plan to use Webb's mirror to obtain light spectra of the distant dots which will reveal the chemical and physical properties of their source and provide precise distances. Essentially what we've seen from these findings is that because the universe is about 13.7 billion years old, these galaxies shouldn't be as fully formed as they are, because we're seeing the light from these galaxies as it existed about 13 billion years ago. Current theories say that these galaxies shouldn't be anywhere near as fully formed as they are as we're seeing them now. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover has discovered evidence of ancient water and waves on Mars in the form of tiny ripples imprinted on rocks found on the slopes of Mount Sharp. The ripple marks are believed to have been created on the bottom of a shallow lake as winds created waves on the lake's surface disturbing the sediments below. This discovery is the clearest evidence yet that water once existed on Mars. Curiosity rover has been exploring a region of what scientists call sulfate-bearing rock since last autumn. The area is believed to have been deposited when an ancient lake was nearly dry. The ripple marks are about 0.5 mile up Mount Sharp, a mountain that was once dotted with lakes and streams and is an intriguing area to search for signs of ancient Martian life. In the past few days, powerful solar winds from the sun are causing the auroras to light up the sky across the UK and even as far south as London. The Aurora Borealis displays were reported from all over the UK overnight from Sunday to Monday. Astrophotographer Stuart Atkinson and photographer Evan Boyce captured stunning images of the Northern Lights in the UK. Stuart Atkinson, who lives in the Lake District, a contributor for Space.com sister magazine All About Space, managed to capture a series of infernal red auroras after what he described as a frustrating aurora hunt. Northern Irish photographer Evan Boyce took this amazing photo, a short drive from Bangor in Northern Ireland. The spectacle is a result of two solar physics phenomenon occurring at the same time. 
Currently, there is a coronal hole open in the sun's magnetic field from which streams and streams of solar wind emanate at higher than usual speeds. In addition, a coronal mass ejection erupted from the sun on Friday, February 24th and then arrived at Earth on Sunday night. Another even more powerful coronal mass ejection was due to arrive at Earth on the 27th of February. And finally, a new study suggests that the elusive Planet 9 could have up to 20 potential moons, which could be the key to finding the missing planet. Researchers propose that the best way to locate Planet 9 is by detecting potential radio signals that are coming from its moons. The tiny moons would be hard to spot themselves, but if they are heated by a phenomenon known as tidal heating, they could emit a faint radio signal that could be detected by telescopes fine-tuned to search for them. The study estimates that each of Planet 9's potential moons could measure up to around 62 miles or 100 kilometers across. Tidal heating could raise the temperature of any of them to around minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 173 degrees Celsius, causing them to emit a faint radio signal. Of course, we don't know if Planet 9 actually exists, but there are theories out there that suggest it could be lurking in the deep reaches of our own solar system. And that's everything for your space news update from the past seven days. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something new. Join us again next week for more exciting space news, and until then, keep looking up.